Hi, welcome to Holy Yoga for when you're a hot mess. Six week video series uh, meant to sort of just push past all of this exterior inspirational vision board, make everything on the outside look like you have it all together and really get down to the heart of what's going on video series. So I reached a point lately where I've just seen on Instagram and Facebook, like all of these like, go get him, you can have the life you want to live, go after your dreams, everything's going to work out. And inside I just felt this resounding like, no, like no, there's this real suffering going on around us in the world right now. And in the city of New York, I walk the streets every day and I see people just like me who feel empty and exhausted and lost and like they're in a way over their heads and don't know how to swim out. And rather than paint this picture that everything's fine and we've got it all together, I'm really ready to go deeper than that. Really ready to get deep into the mess, deep into the heartbreak and encounter God in a way that's going to change us deeply rather than just painting on this exterior of everything's fine and we have it all together. So that's what we're going to focus on these next six weeks. Here's the truth. Jesus is drawn to messy. We as humans avoid it at all costs. So that's what we're going to focus on as we do yoga together over the next six weeks. Um, today's class, you're going to need a strap. Uh, I'm just using the strap for my yoga mat. You can use a tie or a scarf, or if you have a yoga strap, that's awesome. Um, have that close by because we're going to use it today. Um, press play on some music if you have it. There's a link to my Spotify channel below. I've got some music I designed just for this class um, there for you. So turn on some music, grab a strap, and let's get started. We're going to begin lying down on our mats, starting class in Shavasana, which is a pose normally reserved for the very end of the class, but one that I want us to settle into right at the beginning. Close your eyes and open your arms out wide, palms up, the backs of your hands falling heavy into the earth. Begin to deepen your breath here, and as you do, feel the weight of your body sink into the ground below you. Feel your calves, your thighs, your hip bones. Make that connection with the earth. Feel your shoulder blades and the back of your head sinking deeper. Relax the muscles in your face and be in your face, sorry, and be okay with just whatever shape your face takes when you just let it be. Stop forcing the smile or squinting with stress but letting it relax without forcing it feel the expansiveness of each inhale fill up the whole of your body and stay engaged with that breath as you exhale it fully long and slowly feeling your body surrender more and more Over this series of videos, we're going to study individual stories of Jesus' encounters with people who were so totally messed up. But before I do that, I want to set the stage and really position our hearts. Do you know the Bible talks about our heart more than pretty much anything else? Proverbs 4.23 says this, Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Then in the book of John, Jesus calls to worship, calls us to worship him in both spirit and truth. When we acknowledge the truth about ourselves in a deep and honest way, we can connect with God in a deep and honest way. We can't just worship him with our head. We have to engage with him with our hearts. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to place your hand, one of your hands on your heart. And I want you just to ask God, what is the state of my heart? God, give me a picture. Give me a word. Give me a sound. Something that reflects the state of my heart right now. There's no forcing it. 
Whatever comes to mind, just grab hold of that. God is faithful to speak to us. Lord God, thank you for meeting us here. You are the breath in our lungs. You are the beat in our hearts. Holy Spirit, will you guide us and speak to us and reveal the truth of who the Father is. Reveal the truth of our hearts. God, give us freedom from pretense or posturing, trying to put on a good performance for you, but help us to worship you in spirit and in truth, the fullness of who we are so that we connect with you in a deeper way than we ever have before. Amen. Reach your arms out behind you with a big inhale. Just stretch every muscle in your body out, moving from side to side or however it feels good to find expansiveness in your body. Good, roll over to your right side. And then slowly begin to press your way up coming to a seated position. With a big inhale, root your hips down and stretch both your arms over your head. And on an exhale, reach your right arm down to the mat, stretch your left arm up and over your ear, rooting down through your left hip and stretching along that left side. Moving forward or back as it feels good. Good. Come back to center and stretch the other way, reaching that left arm down to the mat, your right arm up and over. Staying connected with your breath. Staying checked into your heart. Even when you hit tight spaces in your body. Good. Come back to center. Place both hands down alongside of you. And then with your eyes closed, just begin to tilt your right ear over to your right shoulder blade. Feeling the heaviness of your head stretch along the left side of your neck. And then gently roll your head forward, drawing your chin into your chest, feeling that stretch along the back side of it. And then draw your left ear towards your left shoulder. And finally, letting your head hang behind you, feeling an openness across your throat. Good, and then come back to center. Roll your shoulders up to your ears and down your spine. Grab a strap, tie, scarf, whatever it is. We're going to do some really gentle shoulder stretches here. So grab onto the strap um, with your knuckles facing forward. And I want you to take a really wide grip here. So not, unless you have incredibly loose shoulders, I want you to take a really wide grip here. Start wider and we can always crawl your hands closer together as we go. With an inhale, stretch the strap up over your head and as you exhale, all the way behind you. So you might find you might have to move your hands wider to make space so you can stretch your shoulders back behind you. Good. Inhale, reach your arms back up. And then an exhale, reach them forward. Good. Inhale, reach them up. And on an exhale, stretch them behind you. Going through a few of these motions on your own breath, finding openness in your shoulder blades. We sit at computers, I, I sit at computer all day, crunching my, my shoulders and my spine, hiding my heart. But we're going to, counteract that today, opening across our shoulders, opening across our hearts, saying, God, meet me here. This heart is yours. Take off the scar tissue. Break down the walls. I want a beating, living heart, so in love with you, so in tune with you, so in check with you. Beautiful. The next time your hands are forward, release your strap and roll onto your hands and knees coming to a tabletop position. Your knees are stacked underneath your hips and your wrists are underneath your shoulders. And with a big inhale, surrender your belly to the mat, stretch your heart forward, tilt your tailbone up. And as you exhale, draw your chin into your chest, press the mat away from you coming into cow po cat pose. Inhale, back to cow pose, arching that spine. And exhale, rounding into cat 
pose, going through these movements on your own breath. Maybe drawing circles with your hips if that also feels good. All these introductory poses are just meant to help you connect with your body. Something that we ignore or just demand things of all day, but don't really listen to and acknowledge. So we're going to slowly warm it up. Slowly find out how we're feeling today, what it feels like, where it needs some love. Beautiful. So I come back to a neutral position and then sink your hips back under your heels. So you're just in a, a kneeling position. If this hurts your knees, you can come to just a regular seated position or you can sit up on a block. Good. If you'd like to have a, a yummy foot stretch here, you can come onto your tiptoes rather than the tops of your feet. This is a pretty intense stretch though, so whenever it starts to feel uncomfortable, feel free to just let it go and rest on the tops of your feet. I want you to extend your right hand out in front of you, pressing your palm forward, drawing your fingertips back towards your face. Engage through all your fingertips here and just feel that stretch along your forearm and along the palm of your hand. Good. Point your fingertips forward and then stretch them up towards your face again. And feel any tightness in your wrist and your forearm. Engage it and breathe into it here. Good. Then take your left hand, take those fingers and, and draw. use that hand to draw those fingertips closer to your face just to deepen that stretch a little bit. Good. Press that palm out in front of you so you feel even through your shoulder socket engagement. Good, and then release. And with that hand, gently draw those fingertips down so you feel that stretch across the top of your palm here. Sorry, the top of the back of your hand, the top of your wrist, as you gently draw those fingertips towards you. Good, let's release here and do the same on the left side. So let's begin by just stretching that left hand out in front of us, pointing our fingertips forward and then stretching them up feeling the stretch, feeling that tightness. Good. Then take your right hand out and see if you can just give your left hand a little bit more help by stretching those fingertips gently back towards your face. Really drawing your shoulder back and pressing your palm of your hand forward. Good, and then releasing and pointing those fingertips down to the earth, using your right hand to help deepen the stretch. Good, release here. Place your palms on the mat. Stretch your fingertips here. Press through all four corners of your hand. Good, and then I want you to begin to draw your chest forward and bring your chest and your chin toward the earth. Press your elbows into the mat, your palms together in prayer and reach them behind your head into puppy pose. So your hips are stacked over your knees here, but you're reaching your heart forward and feeling a stretch now in your triceps and across your heart as you draw your shoulders away from your ears. Close your eyes and just speak this over yourself. He sees, he knows, he loves. He sees, he knows, and he loves. Return your palms to the earth. Sink your hips back to your hips. Widen your knees to the edges of your mat. And just sink your belly down into the earth. Breathing into the openness in your hips. Surrendering in child's pose. Reminding your heart, he sees, he knows, he loves. In the book of Ezekiel, which is this, um, a book written by a prophet in the Old Testament, God says this, I will take your heart of stone and I will give you a heart of flesh. Now heart of stone is, it's cold. It can't receive heat. And it can't give away any heat. Stone is hard. Stone is dead. 
devoid of feeling or emotion, energy. Does that feel like your heart today? Now a heart of flesh, a heart of flesh is sensitive. It's sensitive to the voice and the movements of God. It feels conviction and it feels remorse. A heart of flesh denotes family. Like Adam said at the very beginning of Genesis, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. We are called children of God, adopted into his family. It's his breath in our lungs, his blood in our veins. Flesh denotes family. And a heart of flesh, when it's squeezed by life, it doesn't crumble like a heart of stone would, but it oozes fragrant oil. It oozes life. It's giving, it's generous, it's trusting. Head slowly make your way up. Press your palms into the mat and begin to stretch your hips back up to heaven, coming into downward facing dog. Draw your shoulders away from your ears here. Take that lock out of your elbows and send your focus to really lifting your hips up and back, finding length in your spine. Drop those heels as close to the mat as you can here. And that's gonna help take some of the weight out of, the, out of your wrists. If you ever get tired in downward facing dog, please come to child's pose. Good, we're gonna make our way through a few series of um, sun, sal sun salutations, and this is just the basic sequence of poses that you'll find in pretty much any yoga class. It's the foundation for a lot of um, series, and you sort of, this is, this is the basics, and from this you build all the other poses that we do in our classes. So once you understand sun salutations, you understand how easy it is to get into and out of every other pose. It's also very repetitive and very meditative. So I really want to challenge you to take your mind off of, am I doing this right? What does this look like? And really think about, how is this feeling? Connect your heart to God. Engage your heart in these movements. Talk to Him and pray with Him and worship Him as you move. Good. Let's look to our fingertips. Walk our feet up to meet our hands. Hanging in forward fold here. Bending your knees if you need to. Not forcing something. But being honest with how your body's feeling. Rooting your feet down to the earth with a big inhale. Rise all the way up to standing. Stretching your palms up overhead. Bringing them to touch. And as you exhale, draw them down to your heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold all the way forward, releasing into a forward fold here. Swaying back and forth or bending your knees, coming into your body, finding what feels good. On an inhale, draw your palms to your shins, lengthen your spine so that your torso is parallel with the mat, reach your heart forward, exhale, fold all the way forward. Place your hands on the mat. Underneath your shoulders, step your feet back, coming to plank pose. Now you can go through a chaturanga and an upward facing dog if you like, but I'm going to skip that for today to keep this nice and gentle. So go through that if you want. Otherwise, let's press our hips up and back straight to downward facing dog, taking three deep nourishing breaths here or in child's pose. Closing your eyes, feeling that breath fill up your body, expanding your heart and exhaling, letting it all go. Look to your hands, walk your feet up to meet them, fold and forward fold. Press your feet into the mat, root down to rise all the way up with a big inhale. Exhale, draw your palms to your heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, rooting down through your feet as you exhale and fold all the way forward, letting your head and neck go and hanging in forward fold. 
Inhale, rise halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Place your hands on the mat. Step back into plank pose. And then press back to downward facing dog. Pedaling your, hip, your heels here or swaying your hips. Moving as it feels good for your body. One more time, let's look to our hands. Walk our feet up to meet them. Hang here in forward fold. You know what to do. Root down to rise up. Inhaling to grow so large. Exhaling hands to your heart in prayer. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, place your hands on the mat. Step back to plank pose. Exhale, press up to downward facing dog. Bring your knees down to the earth. Press your hips back. Surrender in child's pose. Press your hands into the mat. Let's lift our hips up. Come back to Downward Facing Dog. And as you arrive, lift your right leg high. Stretch it long behind you. Feel a stretch through the front of your thigh all the way to your foot as you engage even your toes here. Good. Come forward, drawing your shoulders over your wrists and bring that right leg, a right foot down in between your hands. Lower your left leg, your left knee down behind you, coming into a low lunge here. Inhale with your hands on the mat. As you exhale, crawl them up to rest onto the top of your thigh. Inhale, stretch your heart forward here, coming into just a really gentle back bend. And then exhale, place your hands back down on the mat. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Hang here in forward fold. Root down to rise all the way up with a big inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands together to your heart. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Take that right foot. Step it back. Lower your right knee down to the mat, coming into low lunge on the left side. On your inhale, keep those palms on the mat and just think about drawing your heart forward and your spine long. And then as you exhale, bring your hands up to your thigh. Press that left hip forward as you stretch your heart up and back ever so gently. Exhale, return your hands to the mat. Step your left foot back to meet your right, coming to plank pose. And then let's press back to downward facing dog. We're going to do that one more time on the left side. Slow, meditative, intentional, conscious movements. So on an inhale, stretch your left leg long behind you, reaching through those toes. And then bend that knee, come forward, press that Press your hands into the mat and step your left foot down in between your hands, lowering your right knee down to the mat, taking the low lunge once again on this left side. Seeing if you find a little bit more space after the movement and the stretching that we've done already. Draw your hands up onto the thigh here and take it a little bit deeper. Press those hips forward. Bend gently in your upper spine. Return your hands to the mat. Step your right foot forward to meet your left and hang here in forward fold. Root down to rise all the way up, reaching your hands to heaven, and then draw those palms together. Bring them to your heart. Sweep them overhead on an inhale, and on your exhale, fold back forward, surrendering to the earth. Take that left foot, step it back, lowering that left knee. Low lunge on the right side. Good. Crawl those hands up to the top of that right thigh. Really draw your right thigh bone into your hips as you press your left hip forward to feel that stretch on that right side. Good. Return your hands to the mat. Step your right foot back to meet your left in plank pose and then press back to downward facing dog. Let's lower our knees. Sink our belly to the earth. Come back to child's pose.
Maybe this time you turn your palms up to heaven as a sign of surrender. Take this time to reconnect with that image or that word or that sound that God gave you at the start of class about how your heart is doing. Ask him, God, what does it take to turn a heart of stone into a heart of flesh? What do I need to stop believing and what do I need to start believing? What do I need to surrender and what do I need to accept? Good, slowly come up just a little bit so that you can stretch your legs long behind you and lower down all the way onto your belly. Take your hands and reach them long in front of you. And on an inhale, slowly begin to lift your palms, the tops of your feet, maybe your ankles up off the mat, sending your gaze forward and stretching your neck long as you come into locust pose, lifting your heart up off the mat, breathing into the fullness of your back body here. Exhale, release, placing the right cheek of your face onto the mat. This is a back bending, heart opening pose. So with our bodies, we're gonna say, God, here I am, here it is. Take it, fill it with your grace, wash it with your truth. Good, draw your chin to the center. On an inhale, Using the strength of your core, lift your arms and your legs up off the mat, drawing your shoulders away from your ears, not clenching your butt cheeks here, but engaging your inner thighs, spiraling them in, breathing fully. Exhale, release, place the left cheek of your face down onto the mat. Beautiful. Let's roll over just where you are onto your back. And draw your knees up and grab with your hands either the outside of your knees or if you've got more openness in your hips, press the soles of your feet up towards the ceiling and grab onto the outside edges of your foot with your palms, drawing your knees into your shoulders here, coming into a pose called Happy Baby. You can rock gently from side to side sending your breath into those tight spaces of your hips. Now this pose is called happy baby. And um, have you ever seen a baby grimacing? Well, in this pose, no, babies are happy. This is a playful pose. So put a smile on your face, bring some movement to your body. There's this beautiful song by Hillsong that says, even when it hurts like hell, I will praise you. Joy is what comes when our happiness doesn't depend on what happens. Can you find joy in this pose? In whatever state your heart is in, can you say thank you, God? Thank you for seeing. Thank you for knowing. Thank you for loving. Good. Release your feet or your knees. Hug them into your chest. And then stretch your left leg long. We're going to take a gentle spinal twist here. So roll that right knee over to the left side of your body, stretching your arms out long to the side of you and sending your gaze over your right shoulder, feeling a gentle twist in your low spine here. Closing your eyes. Breathing. I've been reading um, Brendan Manning's book called The Ragamuffin Gospel. And if you haven't read it, stop whatever you're doing after this class and pick it up because it is just the greatest, greatest book. Um, but he has this beautiful quote in it anyway. He says, in our futile attempt to erase our past, we deprive our community of our healing gift. If we conceal our wounds of fear and shame, our inner darkness can neither be illuminated 
nor can it become a light for others. Friends, don't let whatever shame or guilt or fear you might feel about what's going on with your heart stop you from sharing it with God and sharing it with others. Don't hide your experiences. Don't hide the places you've been or the things you've done. Bring them into the light. Not only is it going to connect you in a deeper way with God, but it's going to draw other people in to the presence and the goodness of God. This whole series is about what it's like when we're in our hot mess. And here's what, I hate. Here's what I'm to tell you is that not to hide in that hot mess. Sit in it. Accept it. See God sitting in it and accepting it with you. Don't hide it or be ashamed of it. But bring others in. Good. Come back to center. Extend your right leg long and now draw in your left knee into your chest. And then twisting that left knee over to your right side, stretching your arms out long to either side of you and sending your gaze over your left shoulder, twisting here. Whenever you're ready, you can come back to center and take Shavasana, that pose that we took at the beginning of the class where you just surrender everything to the earth, to your mat, and to your king. Please return to this practice, this practice of talking about your heart with God. Continue to peel back some of those layers this week and open yourself to his light. Open to yourself to his healing, to his presence, to his grace. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I'll see you back here next week as we dive a little bit deeper. <laughs>